welcome back to another episode of the Nintendo Wiretap. My name is Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we're taking a look at a $300 SpongeBob SquarePants limited edition game. I mean, that's a bit high in my taste, but maybe it's for you. So without further ado, let's take a look. Now, if you're a fan of platformers like I am, in fact, it's one of my favorite genres of all time, you might know about a little game called SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Now, the game came out all the way back in 2003 on the GameCube, the PS2, and the Xbox, and it was pretty fun. In fact, I remember playing this game when I was younger. Anyway, I digress. There is another version of this game coming out very soon on the Nintendo Switch, and it looks like there is a $300 limited edition coming along with it. Now, there is technically two special editions that are coming out that were announced today, so let's take a look at the cheaper one first and then go into the kind of excessive one. Now, the first one is called the Shiny Edition, and it's coming in at $149.99. It comes with a statue of SpongeBob SquarePants sticking out his tongue, ready to go jellyfishing, I guess. It comes with some wall stickers, six lithographs, a SpongeBob SquarePants-themed set of socks, and, of course, the game itself. A bit pricey for what comes with it, but I guess if you're a massive SpongeBob fan, maybe it's the right price for you. Okay. On to the absolutely insanely expensive one. Once again, this is 300 bucks, the price of a Nintendo Switch console itself, and it's called the Fun Edition. Now, this edition comes with everything I mentioned before, but instead of one statue, you get three. You get SpongeBob, the same one and the other one, you get Patrick Star, and of course, Sandy Cheeks. On top of that, you're also getting a set of key rings too, if that's your type of thing. Now, once again, this edition is 300 bucks, so if you want to pick it up, I mean, it's totally up to you. There's trailers for both of these up on our website right now if you want to take a closer look. I have a link to that in the description down below. All right, now I have to ask you, what do you think about these crazy expensive SpongeBob collector's editions? Let me know your thoughts on these, if you plan on picking them up, or if you think they're ridiculous, down in those comments below. All right, coming up next today, we're taking a look at some My Nintendo rewards that are coming to Japan that make our rewards look just terrible. All right, I've mentioned this before on the Nintendo Wiretap. I love the old Club Nintendo. It was my favorite thing ever. I mean, the concept was simple. Buy a game, get points, and exchange those points for exclusive merchandise. And that merchandise was amazing. They had little dioramas, they had, they had Nintendo DS cases, 3DS cases. I mean, there were so many cool things that you could pick up. And then when my Nintendo came along, all of those physical goodies just decided to disappear. But in Japan, things are a bit different. Now they have three brand new rewards tied to Luigi's Mansion 3. The first one is going to be a pretty generic keychain, which I'm not totally into, but it's still pretty cool. The second is a Luigi's Mansion 3 tote bag. And the third, my all-time favorite, is a Luigi's Mansion 3 poster set. Now, all of these are exclusive to the Japanese My Nintendo, and I'm guessing they're never going to come to the US, which makes me incredibly sad. But there you go, if you're in Japan and you have a bunch of My Nintendo coins, this is a really cool way to spend them. Let me know your thoughts on all of these rewards and your, your thoughts on the current state of my Nintendo down in those comments below. Honestly, I just, I really hope Nintendo brings back physical rewards for the US. I miss them so, so much. But there you go, folks. That's tonight's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap. I'll be back tomorrow with yet another episode, but as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys.